dear teachers when you enter in your class and you start your teaching learning process how do you facilitate your learners during teaching you not only present the content but you also take help of many resources through which you make the understanding of a concept easy to your learners such resources are basically teaching learning resources and in today's discussion i am going to talk about what are teaching learning resources and how learners and their environment can be used as teaching learning resources when we think about teaching learning resources these are basically the resources which teachers use to assist learners to meet the expectations from learning defined by the curriculum so whatever content has been given in the curriculum what are the objectives has been defined to achieve those objectives to complete that delivery of the content teacher facilitate or assist learners to understand the concepts by using certain resources these are basically the materials which are used by a teacher to supplement classroom instruction or to stimulate the interest of the learners so it is always said that if a teacher is using appropriate teaching learning resources he or she basically increases the interest of learners in the teaching learning process let us see certain definitions one very famous definition was given by claus in 2010 and claus was of the opinion the teaching learning resources are the tools that classroom teacher used to help their learners to learn quickly and thoroughly a teaching aid can be a simple chalkboard as well as it can be a complex like a computer program so this definition basically tells that a teaching learning resource is every supporting material which a teacher used to facilitate learning during the instruction it can be a chalkboard it can be a computer program it can be a model it can be a chart it can be an audio file it can be a video it can be a story which is being shared by the learner or the teacher it can be an experience which is being shared by the learners as well as by the teacher so teaching learning resource is any additional resource which facilitates learning which increase the understanding of the learner about a particular concept is known as teaching learning resource another very famous definition was given by Tamaklo, Amadeha and Athe in 2005 according to their definition teaching learning resource is a material which teacher uses to facilitate the learning understanding and acquisition of knowledge concept principles or skills by his or her learners so if any material a teacher is using to facilitate learning to develop the understanding or the acquisition of knowledge it comes under teaching learning resource why we are talking about teaching resources why we are talking about teaching learning resources what is the importance of teaching learning resources there is a very famous proverb which says what i hear i forget what i see i remember what i do i understand so to increase the remembering and understanding you provide them certain material certain example some per, some opportunities to see something to do something means for some hands on activities if you are doing so you are facilitating your learners to learn better if you take a clue from this proverb you can say the teaching learning resources help in many ways like teaching learning resources facilitate the memorization and retention of any concept suppose if a concept is being taught by a teacher through any definition or simple description of the facts verbally 
a student may recall it completely may not recall it completely but if a teacher is using any object any material along with the description then learner associates that description with the material which he or she is watching or handling so when more than two or three senses works together the retention of the knowledge become more if you use teaching learning resources it increase the motivation of the individual in the teaching learning because teaching learning resources requires the use of more than one sense organs more sense organs are involved better will be the learning more will be the motivation and more will be the retention that's why it is suggested that you design a resource you plan a resource which enhances the uses of different sense organs so that learning can become permanent then when we talk about teaching learning resources we also know and we all admire this fact that when a teacher uses teaching learning resources he or she clarifies the content with more ease and resources make the teaching learning environment very interesting for the learners the monotony the boredom of the classroom can be reduced or removed by using appropriate teaching learning resource a teaching learning resource also provides direct experience to the learner which is helpful in learning and it removes the dullness of the classroom and make the classroom live and active how and why because when you use a resource it not only stimulates the involvement of more than one senses of the learner but it also makes learner active and if your learners are active participant they are actively participating in the teaching learning process they will definitely learn better if these are the benefits of the teaching learning resources then what are the teaching learning resources what are the types of teaching learning resources this is the next question which may come to your mind broadly teaching learning resources are categorized in three categories audio resources visual resources and audio visual resources let us talk what do mean by audio resources the resources which are being used by the learners to know about any concept or anything by listening so radio is an audio resource tape recorder audio cds gramophone even nowadays podcasts all these are audio resources for the learners then comes the visual resources visual resources means the resources which involves watching or viewing through eyes so the charts pictures models real objects flash cards maps chalkboards flannel boards bulletin boards overhead projectors slides what are these all these you use to facilitate learning by presenting something in pictorial form mostly these are 2d objects and learners use their eyes to learn from these resources then comes the audio visual resources where audio as well as visual both components are there like the television programs the tv channels the film strips the film projector audio video cds all these are audio visual resources so we can categorize any resource as audio resource visual resource or audio visual resource but have you ever thought that apart from the resources about which i am talking as the audio resource visual resource and audio visual resource learner can be resource for learning 
have they ever imagined to use a learner as learning resource nowadays in constructivist classrooms there is more focus on utilizing learners knowledge and learner as learning resource why because there was a old concept that learner is a tabula rasa learner comes to class with the blank mind nothing is there this is a older concept now the constructivist practitioners have suggested that when a learner is coming to a class he or she is coming with full of the experiences from his or her environment and background that can be a complete that can be incomplete but he or she is having certain experiences so if we want to use learner as a resource first we should focus on few things and the first is that learners learn together better and if they learn from each other so the older concept was that only teacher will teach and learner will learn now learners learn from their peers means the other learner so learners learn from each other they co construct the knowledge where they act as a resource for other learner so if one learner is having some experience in one area and he or she is sharing his or her experience with a, another learner of the class it means he or she is a learning resource for another learner because learners are full of varied experiences because learners are coming from various backgrounds various socio economic status various uh, professional background of their parents so they are full of experiences and when we use learners as a resource in such situation learners should take more responsibility for their own learning so there is a shared responsibility of instruction in traditional teaching learning the responsibility for the instruction is only on the teacher but in present situation where we are going to use learner as a resource learner share the responsibility for the instruction and learning learners can be skilled learners can be semi skilled learners but all learners are lifelong learners so they learn not only from you as a teacher they learn not only from the content which is given in the textbook but they learn from their daily experiences application of the knowledge which you give them in the classroom in real life situation so basically there is a shift from dissemination of knowledge to co creation of knowledge nowadays we all focus more on co creation of knowledge and for co creation of knowledge learners learn from each other and a very good tool if we want to use learners as a resource are the learners questions you can utilize learners questions as a resource because when students or the learners ask questions from where these questions are emerging these questions basically reflect the gap in their knowledge or the discrepancy in their knowledge and the desire to extend their knowledge in the same direction if a student ask questions it basically connects the new knowledge with the previous knowledge because for asking questions a student require certain basis and that basis is coming from their prior knowledge learners questions also enhance the creativity and higher order thinking abilities when learners use their question as a resource it basically directs learning and it drive knowledge construction such questions foster discussion and debates and they enhance the quality of discourse as well as classroom talk so dear teachers you help them to self evaluate and monitor their understanding and increase their motivation and interest in a topic by arousing their epistemic curiosity you can use their ideas and experiences also as resources because learners are coming from varied background a learner may be coming from a background where his or her father is a farmer a learner may be coming from a background where his or her father is a doctor a learner may be coming from a background where his or learner is, uh, his or her father or mother is a merchant or a businessman then it means that the 
talk or the discussions which are going on at their home basically develops a basic knowledge about that profession in them. So they are having a better knowledge than other peers of the classroom if you are trying to explain a concept which is related to that particular profession. And the traditional knowledge, the knowledge from family, the knowledge from rituals, the knowledge from elders in the family, they all are coming with that knowledge. The values, the practices, the culture, and as I told you, the specialized knowledge from the parents also play an important role as learning resource of the learners. So if you want to use learners as a resource, you need to bring certain changes in your role as a teacher. If you want to use learners as resources, you need to become designer of the learning. You need to be the curators of the learning resources and experiences. You should act as a coach and learning partner and nurture the learning, which is very important. We not only use a learner as a learning resource, but we also use learner's environment as a resource. The environment from where the learners are coming, as well as the environment where learners are learning. There is a very famous quote of Albert Einstein. Once he said that I never teach my pupils. I only attempt to provide the conditions in which they can learn. So creating a conducive learning environment is the responsibility of the teacher. While learning, if learners are getting good experiences, it brings a constant positivity on their understanding. And if there is a positivity in their understanding, they learn better. Learners use new technologies and tools in the classroom to convert the learning environment as a resource. So if you want to use learners environment as a resource, you should make the environment as a resource of the teaching content if it is relevant to the content. And if you are promoting active teaching learning, active learning, only then it will help you to make the environment resourceful. You can use soft skill, humor, storytelling, etc. as a tool to create a conducive learning environment. You should encourage yourself to share your passion regarding a subject and you should feel free to get personal by offering your own examples and experiences with the learners. You need to provide a situation which give learners an acceptable challenge. You should make the learning environment friendly for the learners and learner support is a critical component. Climate of a classroom also plays a key role in making classroom environment learner friendly. So dear teachers, if you want to use learners as a resource or if you want to create a learning environment in the classroom which also act a resource for learning, which also facilitate the learning, then let's try to use learners in sight for facilitating their learning. I hope that this small description will help you in understanding not only the concept of teaching learning resource and their types, but also how can you use effectively the learners and their environment as teaching learning resource. Thank you very much.